If you want to know how you can make a main menu GUI fade whenever you press play, then you might want to watch this video till the end to know how you can make it. Let's start. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, open the explorer and the properties. I'm going to delete the this screen UI that I have. And I'm going to begin again. So first up in the start GUI, the screen GUI. And after you put the screen UI, you want to add a frame. This frame is going to be the background. So after that, uh, close the explorer and the properties so you can set it as maximum. Okay, so now you can uh, customize your frame. I'm going to be making it uh, a blue, a blue color. Um, so now, after you color it, if you if you want, so it looks better. Uh, add in the frame a text button. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting it in the in, uh, in the middle of the screen. You can put it anywhere you want, but I'm going to put it in the middle of the screen. Okay, I have it in the middle. Now I'm going to open the Explorer and Properties again. Then I'm going to uh, to color it uh, a green color. Okay, so after you color it, uh, you can change uh, change it from button, from saying button, to play or join game or whatever whatever you want it doesn't really matter but after you write it's like really small press text scale and it will make it as large as you can then in the font um, choose a better font because the, the other one is not that good I guess um, now we need to start scripting so Put a script in the text button. So now we need to make some variables. Local, as I taught you guys in another video, um, we need the text button. So it's, uh, local uh, play button equal to script dot parent. So that means the text button because we put the script into the text button. Then wait a second. Uh, now we need the frame. So local frame equal to script dot parent dot parent okay so that means the frame that is uh, the blue frame okay so now we need to start so script dot parent dot wait play uh, play button dot uh, mouse click button one that means if you press that uh, left click connect function then enter and then this is an event, okay? This is an event whenever you press the left click on the play button. So then, um, play button dot background transparency equal to one. And now we also want to to make uh, the text also transparent. So then change this to text transparency equal to one. That means it's uh, transparent. And you can also make it like wait. Uh, millisecond or something i'm going to do that just because we don't want to like make it like uh really basic and stuff i don't know so now we need to make the frame so for i um i you will understand what i'm doing in a second so zero equal to uh write in zero comma one comma zero point zero point one so this will make a bit of sense right now. Add do and then uh, a new line. So I okay. So the zero, the zero is the start. One is the end. So you just need to count one, like from zero to one. But how how are we going to count it? We're going to count it uh, as this number. If we put it to one, that means it's going to be just like really fast what we don't want it to fade really fast the frame so uh, the frame will, uh, will really fast fade if we do this so yeah 
So 0 0.1 is is not the least we can do. We can do this, but but no, we are going to do this. If you want to do that, you can. But this is going to be making a bit more sense. So wait a second. Frame dot background transparency equal to i. Not to one, but to i. I is this i that we just wrote over here. So it will going to be starting from zero transparency. That means it's visible, and then it's going to be uh, from zero to one transparency. And how it's going to do it fast? It's going to do zero, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, till one transparency. So now, if we play. Um, you're going to understand maybe more. So now, go to closed properties and the explorer just because we want the full view uh, for the game. So now, we just press uh, the play button, okay? And it just. Okay, I know what we did wrong. So, what we did wrong was we did not make a weight. So if, if we make a weight 0 0.1, that will make it go uh, slower. So now, if we if we see now, we will we will understand more. Okay. So now, whenever I press uh, the play button, the frame uh, the frame which is the blue background must go uh, fading. And as you can see, we just did it. So if you want to watch more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and comment what you want to see next because I'm going to be reading the comments if anybody comment. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.